So in exercise 8.4, it is basically the culmination of the full chapter. Okay. So it requires yeah. all the knowledge which you have gained throughout this chapter. So I'm going to revise first of all before we jump onto the topic. Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. So please make notes. You can say important notes. Okay. Okay. So first thing what we learned was trigonometric ratios. We call it real ratios. Okay. And there are different ways of trigonometric ratios. One is Pandit Badri Prasad. And on the top we write sign cos 10 cos sec sec and cos. So from this thing we get two type of formulas. First type of formula is sine theta b upon h, the ratio formulas. Yeah. So I hope you know there are six ratios. So six formulas are there. And I'm not going to write them because you already know them. Is that thing clear? Yes. Sir. The important formula for us is that sine theta is p upon h. And what do you think? What is the formula for cosec theta? H upon uh, h, uh, h by p. H by p. Can I say that sine theta and cosec theta are reciprocal of each other? Yes. Sir. Is this thing clear? Yeah. yeah. Or cos sec theta equals to 1 upon sin theta. Yeah. Okay. Unimportant formula. So, similarly, another would be cos theta equals to 1 upon sec theta. theta. And sec theta equals to 1 upon cos. 1 upon cos. <clears throat> I hope it is clear. Yes. Third sir. one. Keep on writing. Tan theta equals to 1 upon cot theta. Or cot theta equals to 1 upon tan theta. Tan theta. Now, in this fraction, I call it fraction formulas. Because what will happen in exercise 8.4? There are many formulas of the same name. I will ask you what is the formula for sine theta. So you will be asking, sir, which formula? Sir, P upon H formula or fraction formula or identity? What, what formula are you focusing on? So try to understand these are ratios. There are six ratios. Okay. And ratios formulas are used in right angle triangle only. Is that thing clear? Yes, sir. So whenever a question is talking about right angle triangle, we focus on trigonometric ratios. Now, this is second type of formulas. You can say this is the first set of formulas. These are second set of formulas. Okay. And in that, there is very important formula. There is a formula for tan theta. Tan theta is nothing but, if you observe over here, is P upon B. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. Which, if you divide sine and cos, you will get it. Okay. I'll Ooh. show you. Sine theta upon cos theta. How do we get that? Sin theta is what? P upon B. P by B. Divided by cos theta is what? B 
be by uh, h sorry uh, sin theta is p yeah, upon x sorry, sorry. Yeah. b by bh yeah b let h. me just erase that let me just erase that this is sin theta is p upon h okay now what will happen right wall well, reciprocal p upon h multiplied by h upon b that is the reason of this formula understood yes yes so they may not ask you to prove it but if they ask you to prove it this is the proof sin theta is p upon h cos theta is b upon h if i divide it i will get p upon b that is why the formula of tan theta is p upon b b oh. very important for tan theta formula is sin upon cos another important formula similarly is what do you think then cot theta is equals to so cot is the reciprocal one by tan. So cos theta, theta upon sine theta. Cos theta plus sine. It is a reciprocal of tan theta, na? Yeah. Understood? Yes. Is that thing clear? Yes. Now. H upon P. So, what if I divide cos sec? What will happen? Sec theta divided by. What do you think? What? Cos sec uh, theta formula is what? Cos H upon is P. H by B. And sec is H, H by B. By B. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. So let me just reciprocal that. Cot H upon P multiplied by B upon B H. H. Yeah. So B upon P. What is B upon P? A cot theta. Isn't it yeah. B upon P cot? Yes. So basically, cot another formula is, what is another formula for cot? Cosec upon sec. Is that thing clear? Yes. Yes. Then tan, another formula is sec upon cosec. Now, why I did not write that very important? Because generally you will see. Uh, we will convert everything in sine and cos. Is that thing clear? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I hope the introduction of this exercise is clear. There are many more formulas. I'm going to write them down right now. Don't worry. Quickly copy whatever I have done. These are the two formulas. Please digest them. Then, uh, okay. And note down in your notebook. Now, so first set of formulas are known as ratios formulas. Second set of formulas, I call it fraction formulas. Okay. Uh, or generally it is called as reciprocal formulas. Okay. It is by the names. What type of formula? Yeah. Third type, what we learn? Complementary formulas. Remember? I know this year 
these formulas have been deleted but uh, i think it won't be possible to cover all the topic without these formulas that's my understanding sin 90 minus theta is what cos theta cos theta yeah. how to remember transformation will happen if you remember the trigonometric sign cos cos tan, tan cos 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 these two go together these two go together these two go together oh understood yes sir so i remember this pattern sin cos tan cos x x cot and let me tell you you will see majority of the times and cos going together we are in love with each other so sin 90 minus theta is cos theta cos 90 minus theta is sin theta should i write all of them or you will you be able to write we can write You guys can write now, so I'm not going to write all yes. the formulas. Yeah, give me two, three seconds to just open the page. You can just put the heading complementary formulas, and complementary formulas are these six formulas. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so please write down on your own. I guess it is done. Third, the third formula that is done. Uh, fourth, type of formulas are identities. So there are three identities. First identity is sine squared theta plus cos squared theta equals to one. And let me tell you, we have done one or two examples also. Remember me. We did one. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Yeah. So we did that question, and after the long answer at one. Remember? Yeah. So that is the identity. What does this identity means? Let me just explain it to you. It means that if sine square thirty degree is given, plus cos square thirty degree is given. you don't need to solve it no need so angles are same which two angles these two angles are same then i can directly write the answer as one is that thing clear oh okay now uh, this is the example So another example I can write cos square twelve degree plus sine square twelve degree. degree one. So what will be the answer? One. 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 Understood? Yes. Yes. Students find it very difficult. Sir, twelve degree तो पढ़ाया ही नहीं. What will I do? Twelve degree नहीं पढ़ाया but I entered the पढ़ाई है. so identity is very important if the angles are same answer is 1 is that clear uh, yes okay sometimes yes it look very dangerous let me show you sin square a by 2 plus cos square and oh, students wow. are like sir padhaya nahi aapne this is very <laughs> tough but I am like, but the angles same, है ना? So answer is one, one, one. Is that thing clear? Should I should I explain? Give you some dangerous examples like this? Ah, uh, you can. Sine square e. Something. I'm just just exaggerating myself right now. Oh. Understood. I hope yeah. you got the point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. as it now what examples are very common this third example is just in exaggeration okay so over time 
trying to say is if you find angle same then our angle is not same so chances are you will be able to use some identities oh. complementary identity fraction identity or ratio and you will be able to make it same understood yeah yes is that same clear okay coming back to the second identity i am not going to show these kind of examples for the other two identities but uh, similarly other two identities are important uh, can you see me properly yes. yes okay second identity is sales tax i i call it sales tax the Like sales, sales, sales tax. Yeah. Yeah. Sales tax. Yeah. When you pay, do you pay the money, na? Yes. Okay. When you pay the money, that means your money is going so minus. Mm -hmm. So S S four one is sign, but sign. sign is already done. So sec. sign cost and cost sec. So sec. So sec sec square theta and for tan for t for tan. Tan. S for sec. Okay. T to one. Is that thing clear? Okay. I like to remember all the identities n equals to one. In your textbook, identities forms are little bit different, but I don't care. If you remember this way also, this is perfect. Now, third identity. Which two uh, ratios are remaining? We have done sine and cos. Okay. We second have done. Tan. We have done second tan. Which uh, two are remaining? Cosec and cot. Cosec and cot. Okay. Cosec and cot. Now, in cosec and cot, which has more words? Cosec. So, sorry. Again, one second. I just touch the bottom part and just goes away. So in cosec and cot, cosec is bigger in terms of words. So yeah. I will be subtracting the thing. So cosec minus cot, cosec square theta minus cot square theta equals to one. This is just a way to remember the formula. Okay. Oh, understood. Now, yes, the important sir. part was this thing. This was important to understand. Another thing which is important to understand. Now I'm going to show it to you. Sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to one. That everybody knows. But yes. other forms are also important. Let me just shift this cos square theta to other side. Okay. So what will uh, happen? Sine square, square theta, theta one minus one minus cos square theta. This is very important. Another form root one minus cos square theta. Cos square theta. Yeah, okay. Another form. One, uh, theta equals. This can be written as one square also, oh. because because one square is again one. One. Yes or no? Yes. So it can be written as one plus cos theta, one minus cos theta. Oh, identity. Identity. A plus B, A minus B. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. So similar, I can do the same thing by shifting sign also. Yes. yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes. Cos square theta equals to one minus sine square theta. 
इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज इफ क्वेश्चन इज इन साइन स्क्वायर कॉस स्क्वायर you should apply the first identity that is more important to understand okay okay now i am not going to seriously going to write all of this thing what i have just written over here okay for other two identities if you want you can do for yourself you can uh, keep shifting one thing to the other Is the thing clear? Okay, I do one, then I will uh, not do the rest of the points. Let me do sine square theta minus cos square theta uh, six square theta minus ten square theta equals to one. So one possibility is I'll shift ten to the other side. So six square theta equals to one plus ten square theta. Is that thing clear? Yeah. So we cannot use a plus b, a minus b identity. This is only applicable to the first one. Yeah. That's why that is more important. And over here, another form could be in root. If somebody asks you to find only sec theta value, it is one root one plus tan square theta. Is that thing clear? Yes. Sir. Another possibility, if I shift sec to the other side. Now over here, it's very difficult. That one. If I shift sec. To the other side, yeah. minus ten be remaining over here. Oh. Yeah. One minus x square theta. Is that in positive? Yes. Oh, so annoying. Let me just get it back. We'll take two three seconds. Yeah, here it is. I hope it is clear. Yes, yeah, sir. Actually, this page becomes overloaded. That's why it keeps on crashing. This app gets crashed. Okay. Now, if I shift this minus to the other side, what will happen? It will change the sign. So, what will happen? Sec square theta will become positive minus one. So this is super duper important. Student find it very difficult to Ooh. understand this. Okay. So another formula will be ten theta equals to root sec square theta minus one. See, personally speaking, I don't remember all of this thing. As a teacher, even after teaching years, I don't remember. I just remember the top identity, these three identities. And as soon as I see a question in terms of second ten, I just put the identity in that. How to put the identity? I will teach you today. Okay. Okay. Now 
I just wanted you to understand that shifting is possible. Shifting is possible. Now, these were the three identities. That is it. This is the re recap of the full. I hope you got some idea what yes, is going sir. on. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you have not written anything, just take a screenshot right now. And uh, I will start teaching the exercise now.